All right, thank you very much, Jim. Well, thousands of families are scattered across the state as the flames ravage Southern California, and some are seeking refuge right here in the valley. Catherine Milan continues our team coverage from the newsroom. Catherine. Jennifer, Tina and Greg Burke joked when they said they left Southern California for the Central Valley to get some fresh air. The truth, they say, is the skies were black with smoke and ash when they fled their San Diego home Monday morning. Their entire neighborhood was ordered out. The Burks ended up here in Fresno, where Tina spent her childhood. My wife just grabbed a bunch of pictures off the wall, threw them in mm -hmm. crates, and this is it. Wedding pictures, baby pictures, insurance papers, whatever was within reach. As the Southern California skies turned crimson Sunday, the Burke family acted fast. They abandoned their San Diego home a day before evacuations were ordered. We saw it at our house. We saw the smoke, and... Um, we knew with the winds, the way they were going, uh, that it was going to be bad. We were glued to the TV on Sunday night, and um, at, at that point I started to realize the severity of it. So I went out at 1.30 in the morning looking for a gas station that was open because I had a feeling that we were going to take off in the morning. Around them, entire neighborhoods forced out as homes burned to the ground. We were surrounded by fires. The map showed we were just surrounded, so we said we just need to go now. Before we get trapped here. Tina, Greg, eight-year-old Riley, and the family dog Laddie all crammed into their truck and took off. When we were driving north, we had absolutely no idea where we were going. We, we said Vegas, San Francisco. We just were, were, were focused on getting out of town. That, that, that was the main objective. The Brooks arrived at Tina's mom's place in Fresno on Monday. Since then, they've been tuned to the news, checking constantly for updates. Neighbors tell them their home is still standing. The flames have really put life into perspective. On Sunday afternoon, I was just standing there, like, looking around, going, what do you take? What do you take? And really, when it all comes down to it, none of it really matters, as long as we're safe. Right now, the Brooks' home is out of the danger zone. As long as the winds don't shift, they plan to return to San Diego within the next couple of days. In the newsroom, Catherine Milan, KC24 Central Valley's News Station. All right. Thank